Hi guys, welcome to our next video. And on the previous video, we talked about the project panel. We um, learned a lot of interesting things about the project panel and how to bring elements into your timeline, okay? On this video, we are going to be doing something more interesting. We are going to be learning animation principles. You now know how to bring things into your timeline, but um, we are not going to end it. That's why it's called motion graphics, okay? You have to get things moving. On this video, we're going to be learning the four basic principles of animation, okay? So you stay put. Let us begin. So in this video, we are entering into animation proper, okay? And we're going to start with learning the principles of animation. So if you get to see our course outline, you see it as um, episode 7, Animation Principles in After Effects. But I'm naming it over there, Animation Proper, because this is where we start to understand animation in After Effects, because this is the major thing that After Effects has to offer. All right? So I'm titling it Animation Proper. Okay? So once you have media elements in your composition, it's time to start animating and adding effect. All right? Once you have layers like your logos, your, you saw our previous video, we had um, KFC logo, we had Twitter logo. So once you have those things, it's time to start what doing animation. Like I said, After Effects is not, not the only software for animation. Okay? There are other softwares, even for 3D animation. Alright? But for the sake of this, we are focusing on 2D animation. But, um, albeit it is still the same animation principle. So in this video, we are going to learn the key animation principles. Put, put it in mind, I said key animation principles because this might not be all, but these are the four major animation principles you cannot do away with, all right, when it comes to animation using any software. So in this episode, we are going to cover the following topics, all right? Animation principles. Put, put it in mind, I said key animation principles because this might not be all, but these are the four major animation principles you cannot do away with, all right, when it comes to animation using any software. So in this episode, we are going to cover the following topics, all right? Animation principles, such as what? position scale opacity and rotate okay you might not understand it because we're just reading it for the first time but let's just get into it then you see what we can do okay so looking at your screen we have um four shapes there we have four shapes there you might be wondering how did i draw these shapes don't worry on our next tutorial we're going to deal with writing of shapes and text all right just slightly but for the purpose of this tutorial i want to just show you what I mean by animation principles, okay? As you can see, our um, project panel is well organized. I have two folders here. One is the main composition and one is um, the shapes, all right? So I'm going to start from the, the circle. I'm going to play this for you, okay? A very good um, shortcut you have to put in mind is the space bar, all right? The same for Windows, same for Mac. So once I press my, my space bar, this will start playing, okay? I will just set it to full screen so you see it very well. So what I just do is to double click on this, my project um, panel name here, my composition name. I just double click on it. Then you see that it will maximize to its fullest. Okay. So I'll just play this thing for you. I'll just press my, my space bar. Before I play it, uh, you can see that my, my, my pointer is at the beginning. All right. It's at the beginning. And you can see my timeline. Um, there are like four layers in my timeline. So let me just play it so you see what happens. Okay. So, here it goes. In this um, um, composition, you can see what is happening. We have our shape um, going up. We have our green um, shape, our green circle going up and down. I don't know if you can notice it. And I tamed that position, all right? I tamed it position. We have um, the next one, opacity, okay? Its level of visibility is going up and down, okay? And we have scale for our pentagon shape here, the yellow shape. We have it increasing and decreasing in scale, okay? And we have... Um, one one I find I find interesting is our um, star shape, okay? Our star shape. So you find it rotating. I don't know if you can see it now. You find it rotating, okay? It's rotating. So there are four key principles of animation, and these are the four I have over here. So you can see something happening to them. And you can see our, our time, time indicator. It's moving, okay? So we'll start with the first one. We'll start with the first one position okay and that is our circle so i'll just double click on this so i can focus on it like i taught you on our previous video how to compose it so this circle is in a composition okay so i'll just open it here i'll just open it so you can see 
don't worry you get to understand these things much later on okay you get to understand these things much later on so i'll just open the circle okay so we have it here we have it here so what is going on here really what is going on here you can see that the the, the position is people i'm teaching you position the position is changing what with time if i play it you see what is happening the position is what is changing with time okay and this is the first principle it looks as if it's, it's bouncing okay it's bouncing and if you notice on our timeline you notice little dots here these are our keyframes and that's going to be our next tutorial i'll teach you more on the keyframe but now i want you to focus on how this moves up and down so there's there are animations you see going up and down okay it means the position is changing what with time okay we can go now we are going just um on the on the x axis okay on the y axis rather we are going on the y axis we can also move um we are moving up and down now we can also move move right left okay we can move right left and how did we get here how did we get here i'll show you something i'll show you something and you would note that the four principles we are talking about they are all in the property all right they are all in the property of that shape okay so we have position here while dragging the first um uh, figures we have here right and left we find it going what right and left right and left right and left so you can animate something to go right and left that is still within the position but what we use was up and down but it is the same the same principle okay you can either animate something up and down right left it can even be diagonal yes it can be so this is position so far it changes um uh, a spot with time it's called position okay if something moves from year to year it is position it is the, the first principle i'm teaching you so if you're animating something you either change the position or we can move to the next one if you are not changing the position there's something else you can do we'll just look look at it um briefly okay so we have another one here we have scale like i said something you would notice is that all our animation principles they are here so if i click on this drop down this is our shape shape layer three this is it one way you know what you are clicking is it, it gets alighted here okay if i click this text i have here to be alighted don't worry about the text we're going to have a tutorial for that i'll teach you how to bring your text and shape tool okay so we have our shape here so i want you to notice something that happens and you know how scale works right it's only two-sided okay you can either increase the size or decrease the size so and that's what's happening here you can see me clicking trying to reduce increase the size increase the size, and it's fun because you can turn it to an animation okay because that was what we did here so just watch it you can see it's reducing and increasing shape is just two-sided scaling is just two-sided rather scaling is two-sided but position is four-sided you can go x y you can go um um x as is or y as is one way i mean x as or y as i mean up and down you can go up and down or right and left okay you can even go diagonally all right okay so that's for that but scale is just two sides you can see what is happening this is the second animation principle right changing the size of a thing with time okay that's for shape so we have another one opacity if you have used photoshop you should know what opacity means the decree or inc increment in the what I call it transparency or opacity okay decrease the visibility if i play it you see what happens the visibility of this shape increases and reduces with time okay just imagine you want to fade out something you want to fade out something you can just reduce the opacity with time okay if it just disappears that's no opacity okay that's no opacity so you can see that it's reducing with time it's not just disappearing once so this is, can just be the concept of just fading out something and something blinking okay it's still the same concept so this is the second principle and you can always find it here like i said it's only two-sided is is the degree of what of visibility of an object the degree to which an object is called is what visible okay you can see at a certain time it becomes a bit visible a bit visible until it gains its full visibility okay that's for opacity and it's right here it's right here and i'll just pause this to show you what is happening let me just go to this for you can see this shape is in its fullest um color at the moment it's taking its, a, a full color but when we begin to reduce the opacity the color begins to fade all right and that's what we are doing here 
the same thing as Photoshop, just that Photoshop, you might not get to animate it, okay? But now we are putting it to work, all right? We are putting that opacity to work by animating it, okay? So we have going down, coming up, going down, coming up, going down, coming up. So that's for opacity, that's for opacity. And we have the, the other one, which I find interesting, rotation. So you've noticed anim animation, um different animation rotating okay you must have noticed it somewhere else or on a cartoon or on the tv or something something just rotating so this is how it's, it's being done it's an animation principle you can see it's rotating it's rotating and rotation has to do with what angles if you've done angles in school you have angle 90 angle 45 all mix up or 360 okay we have 360 so you can see this thing is just rotating it's just rotating, 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 rotating. And if you look down here, we have our rotation. Okay, so it's not something that is strange. We have our rotation. So at the moment, is, is that what? Is that what? Let me just try to increase this thing so you get to see it, okay? So you find it here. We have our, our angles. I'll just be like the normal angle. We set it in, all right? That's like the normal angle. So... We can get to rotate it. If we set it to, you can see that it's at 13, 16. We are the more we increase it, the more it, it is rotating. Do you get? You can set it to uh, angle 90, angle 45. But you just keep doing this and to be rotating. Can you see what I'm doing? You just keep doing this and to be rotating. But the thing is that you can't get, you can't get to be moving your hand like this. All right? You can't just be moving your hand like this. You have to use what keyframes and that's what we're going to be learning next you have to use keyframes but what i just want you to, to note is how this thing moves okay and this is the last principle i'm teaching you rotation so imagine you're just putting a star causing it to rotate beautifully all right or you're having this having a square making it to blink a bit how beautiful will it be or you're having a pentagon just increasing and reducing the scale all right it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and just having a circle changing the position like a ball bouncing okay you can try it on your own it's, it's, it's nice so those are the four key principles of animation we are learning in this video i'll go back to the main composition and i'll show you how beautiful it is beautiful in the individual but combining them together makes them more what more beautiful okay i think something has happened to our star let's check what happened to our star i think while we're doing some edits we did something to our star okay so we'll just go back and see okay so you can see our um, circle is changing position like i said you can go right left instead of up down see the same concept you can see our um our angle being becoming bright our um square shape rather becoming bright and dimming itself that's the principle of what of opacity okay we have our scale our pentagon increasing in size and decreasing in size and we have our star rotating so these are the four key principles of animation there's nothing you would animate that you will not likely change one of these all right you might likely change the position even if it's 3d animation somebody walking you are changing position all right you can see the legs changing position or something opacity you can see um something increasing and decreasing in um what visibility okay we have our star rotating. Sometimes you might see something rotating to angles. You have to be familiar with the angles. All right. You can see um, somebody's hand. Even if it's three dimension, the hand moving up and forward is like changing angles. All right. Our scale also. You can see it. Somebody walking to the cam, walking close to the camera. The the what the scale increases. Walking um, away from the camera, the scale reduces. So these are the key principles you must have in animation be it 2d or 3d animation so i'm glad that you are learning it at this point in time and i believe it will be very helpful to you okay so now next tutorial we're going to learn how i made this using keyframes so that's it for principles of animation and um, we're going to get into advanced kinds of animation okay in further videos in this course but i believe this is a very um good place to start okay this is the foundation for further knowledge we are going to get in this course okay so see you on our next video where we'll be studying on keyframes okay keyframe is like the basic knowledge you need to have before you even start anything animation okay now next video we are going to be treating keyframes in after effect and you don't want to miss it okay keyframes are very important facets in after effect okay it is the foundation 
for all animation projects okay so see you on our next video